What in the world is a cocktail bomb? Well, we're gonna find out in this video as I compare a cocktail made from a cocktail bomb compared to a real South Florida mojito made right here at my bar. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday, I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel. Have you ever heard of these? Cocktail bombs. I have no idea what they are. I saw this at the liquor store and I thought this is too good to pass up. And I thought we would do a side-by-side -side comparison, a test where I would make a mojito using a cocktail bomb and make a mojito using just my own hands and, and experience and see which one turns out the best. Um, these cocktail bombs are supposed to be kind of automatic. It says pour 12 ounces of sparkling water, add a cocktail bomb, add um, five to eight shots. Oh my goodness, once you get five to eight shots into 12 ounces, you're, no wonder, you don't care what it tastes like at that point. And pour into cocktail glasses. So we have here lemon margarita, or lemon lime margarita, strawberry daiquiri, passion fruit martini, and mint mojito. So of course, we are gonna be making the mojito. So what are we going to be using today besides our cocktail bombs? Well, we're going to be using a silver rum, any brand. I'm not going with top shelf on this one because I'm gonna be mixing it with a cocktail bomb. <laughs> so uh, coral reef silver rum is what we're going with. We are going to be using some club soda. Since I'll be using 12 ounces of it just with the cocktail bomb, I just thought I'd buy myself a big old bottle. We're gonna be using fresh lime. We're going to be using fresh mint leaves. And we're going to be using sugar. In my case, I'll be using simple syrup. So let's get started. I have two glasses here and let the contest begin. Now, this says that we should mix it, as I said, uh, 12 ounces of sparkling water, add, drop one cocktail bomb in and let it dissolve. So I'm gonna let this dissolve while I make my other cocktail. Of course, this is all the way at the bottom for the mojito. And these are wrapped in a plastic, it looks like. I don't know if that's supposed to dissolve with it or not, but I don't wanna take a chance, so I'm gonna take that plastic off of there. This is not the most exciting, ah, there we got it. Okay, so it's right there. So we're going to pour in 12 ounces. Oh, geez. Well, that was worth tuning in for, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not even gonna stop the cleanup. We're gonna keep rolling. Wow, didn't know that was gonna happen, did we? All right, so we're gonna go with 12 ounces of this. Now I'm afraid what's gonna happen when I put that. that bomb in here. No, well, here goes nothing. Whoa, look at it go. All right, while we're doing that, we are going to make our mojito. Now, I always like to make mojito, of course, with fresh ingredients. So we're going to take a lime and I'm gonna cut it into wedges. And I do have a relatively narrow glass here, so I wanna make sure that I can get these in. Now, what I'm also going to do is use some fresh mint leaves. And how many do you use? Well, these mint leaves are actually pretty small, so I'm gonna use a substantial amount. I'll tell you, there doesn't seem to be any one um, agreed upon amount of anything in a mojito. It's all about getting that flavor. So I'm gonna put quite a few. Why does this smell good? I wish you could smell this as I'm picking off all of these 
uh, mint leaves. All right, and I'm gonna put in two or three of those. And then how much sugar? Well, remember if you're using simple syrup, it's only half sugar. So if you, you know, if you are using one um, sugar cube, that's a teaspoon. Three teaspoons are in a tablespoon. Some recipes call for as much as two tablespoons of, of simple syrup. That would mean that you're looking at about three sugar cubes. I am going to put in about a half an ounce. Now, I typically like sweeter mojito, mojitos, but um, I, you can always add more sugar. All right, so I am going to, boy, look at that. It turned green. Never heard of a green mojito. Okay, so I'm gonna muddle that up a little bit. And then I am going to add an ounce and a half of my silver rum. Look what happened when I opened that bottle on screen. You had a lot, a lot more fun with it. Okay, so we're going to use about an ounce and a half of that. I'm going to throw in the rest of that lime, muddle that a little more to release that lime. Now, some people might just put lime juice in. A half a lime is going to be, I don't know, maybe half an ounce, but of course it is far more uh, potent because you're using a real lime and not just lime juice, right? So we're gonna put that in and then we're going to top it off. Oh, I need a straw. I'll be right back. Here we are and Stir that up just a little bit. Actually, it might stir better. Well, I have this is the messiest I've ever had my bar in uh, an episode. I'm gonna work that up a little bit, get some of that mint, some of that lime, some of that sugar up to the top. Let's give this a taste. Oh, now that is a good mojito. You're really getting the lime. I think I just got just the right amount of lime by muddling in half that lime. The mint is coming through. Mm. Let's garnish that. The mint is coming through and could be a little sweeter, but it's all right. That's good. All right. Now, is it fair to just add that and, you know, nothing more, just the rum? No, it's not fair, but that's the way you sell it. So, you know that my mojito is going to be better. But, nice ice cube can fit. So, I almost hate, well, I don't need that anymore, do I? I almost hate to, you know, use some good rum on this, but this is in the interest of science, isn't it? So we will add that. <clears throat> what in the world? Oh my goodness. There's all kinds of sediment on the bottom. I'm gonna stir that up. It doesn't say stir it up. Now I'm gonna stir it up, get some of that sediment mixed in. Pour that in. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it certainly isn't a mojito. Here it goes. This is awful. Oh. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to compare this to. It's um, Alka-Seltzer. 
Remember Alka-Seltzer, you put it, you know, pop, pop, fizz, fizz, and it makes your stomach feel better? It's Alka-Seltzer with rum. There's nothing that can fix this. I could put in some fresh lime. I could put in some fresh mint. Nothing can fix this. Um, but you might like it. <laughs> I don't even want to try the other three. The other three, once again, lemon lime margarita, strawberry daiquiri, passion fruit martini, and we just used the mint mojito. Oh my. Why would someone do that to rum? Mmm. This makes me happy. This brings me joy and pleasure. And it makes me uh, remember some of the reasons I moved down here to Southern Florida. That, that does not even belong on the shelf of a store, especially a liquor store. Well, this was a short one. It was a fun one. How often do you get to see on this show a bottle of club soda explode? Um, but nevertheless, it was, um, it was interesting. And I am going to say, don't buy the cocktail bombs. I guess it could be a novelty gift for somebody. I'll link them down below if you want to see what they're like. But uh, if nothing else, you got a takeaway from here. That was a good, quick way to make a really good mojito. I would probably add just a little more simple syrup. Um, now, sometimes people will say, well, isn't that watered down? Well, not really. You're putting ice in here anyway. So I think it uh, mixes better. When you use real sugar, sugar cubes, sometimes it gets granulated, sometimes it gathers around the bottom. Personal preference. Um, and my preference, of course, is this. It's a really good cocktail. So uh, I can't say I'm sorry I made this video, but I'm never gonna. As soon as this is over, this is going down the drain. So thanks everyone, I appreciate you tuning in. As always, I encourage you to return next Thursday. Who knows what's in store for us? And stop in on Mondays and Tuesdays and Saturdays and see what else is going on on the channel. We have a lot of fun here. I think you're going to like it and you're probably gonna to wanna to stick around. See you back here next week. I'm Mark and this is The Average Me Channel.